What's up everybody, today I'm going to review two condenser microphones that I've used to record trumpet. The AKG C414 XL2 and the Behringer C1. Mic review! So before the demonstration starts, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the algorithm and the more people that hit that like button, the more people see this video and the more people I get to help out. Not about me, it's about you. And also I made a free Facebook group that's all about home recording. There's a link in the description, please check that out. So nowadays the microphone that I use for most of my recordings is in fact the AKG C414 XL2. I used to use the Behringer C1 when I was first getting my feet wet with home recording because it was a budget condenser microphone. I didn't want to, when I'm first getting started out with something, drop thousands of dollars in equipment. So when I was getting my feet wet, I started out with the Behringer C1 and I actually made some pretty decent recordings using the Behringer microphone. This video's purpose is not to slam one microphone or say one's better than the other. I'm not gonna tell you what you should or should buy, but I just thought I'd provide you a little bit of context. And during this entire review, I'm not actually gonna give any of my opinions. I'm just gonna let the microphone speak for themselves. But let me know what you think in the comment section because your opinion is gonna really help other people. All right, first, let's talk about pricing. The Behringer C1 is a budget condenser microphone. It's very affordable. It will only set you back about $35. While the AKG C414 is a professional studio microphone, it'll set you back about $1,100. Now both these microphones are condenser microphones. Condenser microphones are really good for recording trumpet because they're super sensitive, super responsive. They're really good at picking up those high frequencies. And trumpets and brass instruments, they can get really harsh and the sound contains a lot of those high harmonics, which the both of these condenser microphones actually do a really good job of picking up. And the difference between a condenser microphone and a dynamic microphone, for example, is that condenser microphones use an electronically charged diaphragm, meaning that it needs phantom power to operate. This is me talking into the C414 with phantom power. See the difference? So to use these microphones, you need an audio interface that will supply your condenser microphone with phantom power. The audio interface that I'm using for this test is the Scarlett Focusrate 2i2 third generation. I got both mics plugged in and have the gain adjusted so that they sound at very similar volumes so that you can get true comparison. Now before we get into the play test, let's talk about the specs that come with each mic. Now as I talked about before, both of these microphones are condenser microphones. They require fan and power to operate. The C414 comes with five hard polar pattern options plus four in between options for a total of nine polar patterns. The Behringer C1 only comes with the cardioid polar pattern. So let's do a quick polar pattern rotation test to see how these mics compare. And since the Behringer C1 only has the cardioid option, I will be testing the cardioid option only on the C414. And again, any differences you hear, please leave all your opinions in the comment section below. So the C414 has a slightly larger diaphragm. It has a slightly wider frequency response. It goes down to 20 hertz as opposed to the Behringer whose bottom is only at 40 hertz. C414 has double the output impedance at 200 ohms as opposed to the Behringer C1's 100 ohms. 414 is slightly lighter than the Behringer and the weight of the microphone affects the response. C414 includes some accessories when you buy including a shock mount, windscreen, and pop screen, carry case. And the Behringer C1 just comes with the stand mount and the carry case. If you want to buy a pop filter or anything like that, that comes separately. Also, in addition to the different polar pattern options that the C414 has, it also has roll-off switches for gain, and also it has a high-pass filter frequency roll-off switch, as opposed to the Behringer C1 who doesn't have any of those options. All right, before we get into the trumpet playing, we're going to quickly test how each microphone handles vocals and your voice. This is how the Behringer C1 sounds, just talking into it, no trumpet anymore, very sad times. This is how the AKG C414 XL2 sounds like talking to it, no trumpet, very sad times. This is how the Behringer C1 handles plosives, penguins, purple, plosives, persistent, poppy, pop, 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 penguins, penguins, plosives, purple, purple, pop, pop, penguins, plosives, purple. 
And this is how the C414 handles plosives. Purple, pop, pop, penguin, purple, plosive, plosive, pop, 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 purple, penguin, plosive, pop, pop, penguin, penguin, plosive, plosive, purple, pop. All right, now here's the fun part, the play test. Yay! So for this play test, I'm gonna be using four different kinds of trumpets, B flat trumpet, C trumpet, flugelhorn, and piccolo. And I do this so that you can hear how the microphone sounds with each different kind of horn, some different styles, some different ranges, so that you can really get a true comparison of these two mics. All of the excerpts you're gonna hear are raw and unedited, but in a realistic situation, if you're releasing music, you're gonna put compression and reverb and all that fun stuff on it. So I'm gonna show you first how it sounds raw, and second how it sounds with a little bit of production so that it's in the right context.
right, that's the end of the playtest, and that's the end of this video. Let me know your thoughts, I want to hear it in the comment section. Which microphone did you like better, the Behringer or the C414? Did anything surprise you about either of these microphones? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here because both those things really help me out, really boosts the algorithm. And don't forget, I create new videos every single week, so hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of that fun stuff. Oh, and also a huge shout out to the Patreon donors if you want to help me out, become a Patreon donor or over at patreon.com slash thebrocktrumpet. You're in my inner circle, win some awesome prizes, and you support the channel. Alright, that's all I got. See you next time.